Well, good morning, boys and girls, and happy Sabbath. We're starting a new program this quarter, and we want you to come and join us. We're at the farm, can you tell? We're going to learn lots of wonderful things this quarter as we come to the farm and learn about how Jesus loves us and all that he gives us on the farm. But before then, we want to start with our morning exercises. So let's get our sticks out. Do you have your sticks or some wooden spoons you can hit with us? And let's sing our TikTok song. <laughs> Thank you for 
for this Sabbath school and the boys and girls that are either watching online or right here in our room. Will you please come and meet with us today? We thank you that you will do as you've said. Give us a good time in Sabbath school and help us to learn of you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Well, before we begin our program, I'd like to say good morning to everybody that might be viewing online. So let's see, who do I see out there today? Why, I see Elise and Aubrey. How are you girls doing? I hope things are good in Michigan. I see Easton. I see Reagan. And there's Everly and Jax. How are you guys doing? I see Becca. Hi, Becca. And I see Annie. And Finley, how are you guys? And Kim and her little sister, Loon Kim. I see Cheyenne. I'm missing you, Cheyenne. So good to see you. There's Oliver. Hi, Oliver. There's Brielle and Luke and probably Emily, too. I see Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Well, there's Drake and Marcy. Good to see you guys. There's Nathaniel and Andrew, some of my favorites. Good to see you, boys. I see Rose, and I see Rachel. Good morning, girls. I see Kaylee and Colton. Always good to see you guys. Why, there's Maverick and Maddox. So glad to see you. And River. Hi, River. I always enjoy seeing you on Sabbath. There's Titus, Ade, and Winston. Glad to see you guys. How are things in Montana? And there's Evelyn and Erica. Always a pleasure to see those girls. We miss you guys. There's Lily and there's Owen. So happy to see you this morning. And Gunnison is right here with us, though you can't see him. He's behind the camera, but he's with us today. And there's Kaylin and Colton. So glad to see you guys, all of you. We welcome you to Sabbath School. So happy you're here with us. All right, boys and girls, it's time for our memory verse. And where do we find our memory verse? What book is it in, Annie? Is it in the Bible? Yes, God gives us his word, the Bible, and that's where our memory verses come from. Our memory verse today is about a lady that gave all the money she had to Jesus. We're going to show the picture right here. Can you boys and girls see the picture of the lady and of Jesus? She's giving her offering. And our memory verse says this. Say it with me, okay? I'll say it, then you say it. God loves, God loves a cheerful, cheerful giver. giver. Second, Second Corinthians. Corinthians, that's a hard word, nine, nine seven. seven. Nice job. I hope you said that with us, boys and girls. God loves a, a cheerful giver. That means when we give our money to Jesus and we're happy to give it to him, oh, Jesus loves that, doesn't he? I know he does. All right, shall we sing our song? Can we sing our memory verse song? I thought I knew my memory verse. I Get up 
very early to go and start his farm chores. And when he gets up, the stars are still shining in the sky and the sun has not come up yet. So let's get our stars out. Would you like to hold a star, Gunnison? And Roman's got his star. And let's sing about the twinkling stars. This world is full of twinkling stars. Well, 
Well, we are at the corral now, boys and girls. And what do we find in the corral, Roman? Horses. Horses are in the corral. And I love to ride a horse. Do you like to ride a horse? Well, if you have a stick horse or if you have a broom at your house, you can go get that and join us while we ride our horses. Which horse did you choose, Roman? And what's his name? Is that... Horsey, and I've got Flash, so let's go for a ride, shall we? Giddy up, horsey, giddy up, horsey, Jesus made you fun to ride. Giddy up, horsey, giddy up, horsey, Jesus made you fun to ride. Shall we go back to the corral? Giddy up. So there's the mommy and the daddy who are married, and then the daddy dies, 
Oh, how sad. And the mommy is left all by herself, maybe with her children. And if there are children and the mommy dies, then they are called orphans. They had no mommy and daddy. And the Bible tells us that we need to help take care of widows, ladies who have no husband, and orphans, children who have no mommy and daddy. Well, Jesus was in the beautiful temple church one day, and he was watching the people in the temple, and he was with his disciples, and they were watching too, and they were watching as people brought their offering into the temple church. Now, there was a big offering box. I'm sure it was bigger than my small box, but we will pretend. And the rich people came with their bags of money. And oh, they were so happy that they could take their money and they would hold it high above the, the offering box and they would drop their silver and their gold in and it would make a loud, loud noise. And when that loud noise came, what do you think all the people around did? They turned their heads and they looked to see Who's giving so much money? And the rich people just loved to be able to give so much money and make it go clinkety-clank-clank into the offering box because they wanted everybody to look and see that they were giving so much money. Well, Jesus was watching them, and he looked and saw them as they were dropping all their money in. And do you think Jesus was happy or sad? He was. Jesus was sad. He looked at them and he said, those people are proud of themselves and of their money. And those people have lots more money at home. And it was true. They had lots more money at home. Well, Jesus kept watching. And as he was watching, I'm going to show a little picture here. He saw a lady. And this lady was very poor. And she might have had a baby in her arms. And she reached down deep into her robe. And she pulled out her offering. And she looked around because she didn't want anybody to see her put in her offering. Because she didn't have a big offering like the rich people. All she had were two tiny pennies, two copper pennies. She had no gold, she had no silver. She quickly looked around, and then she went over and she very quiet put her money in the offering box. And she turned to leave, and Jesus was watching her. And when Jesus saw her, guess what he did? He smiled. And she looked at him quietly, and she smiled. And she saw that his disciples were watching too. And she saw that Jesus spoke to his disciples. And she heard his words. Do you know what Jesus told them? Well, let's show our next picture first of all. Here is our picture. I think I've got the wrong, no, that's the right picture. There are Jesus' disciples. They are looking at the widow. And Jesus was saying to them, she has given more in her two little bitty offering than what the rich people gave in all their gold and silver. Well, now, how could that be? They wondered. The widow was so happy when she saw Jesus smile at her. And when she heard his words, she wondered the same thing. How could that be? I only gave two tiny little pennies like this. And the rich people gave lots and lots and lots of gold and silver. Well, Jesus explained to them. He said, the rich people have lots more money at home. Let's look and see another picture. Do you see all their money? 
The rich people had lots more money at home. And the rich people had lots of food at home. But the poor widow lady, did she have any more money at home? No, she had no more money at home. Those two little pennies, that was everything she owned, everything she had, and she gave it to Jesus. Did she have much food at home, do you think? No, she didn't. She was very poor. She didn't have much food at home. She was trusting that God would take care of her and all of her needs. Did the rich people have to trust God? Or did they have money? No, they didn't. They had lots of money and lots of food still at home. They didn't have to trust Jesus like the widow lady would have to. She gave all that she had to Jesus. And that story is found in the Bible. What she did, her good deed, is found in the Bible that we can read it and we can know too that we might not have much to give, boys and girls, but if we give what we have, Jesus makes it bigger. He makes a bigger gift out of our little tiny gift. And when we can give our little gifts, or whatever size gifts, if we give our best gifts to Jesus, then we won't be selfish, will we? Will we have a selfish heart if we are cheerfully giving to Jesus? No, we won't have a selfish heart. We'll have a kind and loving and giving heart. And we can be cheerful givers, just like the poor widow lady was in our story. Shall we say our memory verse once more? And then we will have our prayer to finish our Sabbath school. So let's look at our memory verse here. We're going to say it one more time, okay, Annie? You're doing a great job. We're missing Roman today, but he's in school, isn't he? Okay, let's say our memory verse. God loves, God loves a cheerful, cheerful giver. giver. Second, Second Corinthians. Corinthians. Good. Nine, seven. Nine, seven. Very good. God loves a a cheerful giver, and each one of us can give cheerfully to Jesus, can't we? Shall we say our prayer, boys and girls? Let's bow our heads. Thank you, Jesus, for all you give to us. Help us to be willing to be cheerful givers and give back to you so that you can bless our lives and that we can learn to trust in you more. We thank you, Jesus. Be with us now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Erin. Well, boys and girls, I've had a great time with you today. We were going to sing our goodbye song now, and we will, we will see you next week. Can you sing our song with us while we wave? Our Sabbath school.